learned people say that we come here for a purpose. Every life has a purpose. A purpose of learning. Purpose of understanding through experiences. Learned people say that we originally are nothing but consciousness. Consciousness with desires. Consciousness with curiosity. Consciousness with greed, with lust. And we are just abiding our time, patiently or impatiently, waiting for the right time when the grand existence gives us a form. And you can come in any form, in the form of trees, rocks, birds, animals but the most developed and the most aware and the most celebrated form is the human form they say that before you take on to a human form before you turn before your spirit travels into an embryo The universe shows you images of how that life is going to be. And it is also said that you actually have options. You could choose life A, life B, life C, and so on. And each of the lives that are presented to you have an opportunity of learning in them. If you are learning something in, say, life A, you might be learning something completely different in life B and something completely different in life C, or they might even be similar. So before you take birth, let's say you're given an option of taking birth in the United States of America in order to learn compassion or in the Middle East in order to learn kindness and love or in the Indian subcontinent in order to learn how to how to tackle the different difficulties of the world and you have a choice of which lesson you want to learn in this lifetime and then you come into this human form you are raised into awareness into adulthood but tragedy strikes what happens is that you forget what you were here for it happens so many times that a person who had come down in order to learn compassion becomes a ruthless pathological component of the society. He who was supposed to spread love and happiness in his surrounding becomes the source of resentment and anger. Another instance is that if someone was here to learn how to grow a fortune, grow riches, he or she forgets completely about it and lives his or her life in misery and poverty. But why does this happen? Why does tragedy strike? This tragedy is the reason you are not able to point out your purpose in life and live a satisfied life. What happens is that you simply forget. 
But you might say, I don't forget. I do my daily chores. I go to my office. I take care of my siblings, my relatives. I don't forget. Oh, but you forget yourself. In this race of keeping everybody in heart and memory and making money, making name, we tend to forget ourselves and most of the times what happens is that we see somebody else finding their own true calling and we think that is our true calling too because that person is enjoying it too enjoying his life if somebody gets a bean bag and seems to enjoy it now suddenly you start thinking that you also need bean bags in order to enjoy life and then you get bean bags but your time your resources are wasted on something that had been passed on to you as your objective by somebody else but why does this happen this happens because we do not value ourselves much we do not respect ourselves we do not understand we do not let ourselves know that we are individuals and we all have our roles and responsibilities so how can one go back to remembering what his true purpose in life is see over so many lifetimes, we have been burdened with so many illusioned objectives that right now, at this moment, it might be difficult to just turn back and say, oh yes, this is my life's purpose. It's actually an ardent process. You need to remove all of those illusory things one by one, layer by layer, until you reach the source of your soul. And then you open your eyes from there and then you see what your soul purpose in life is. But how do you do that? You do that by making sure that you are in control of yourselves and especially your emotions emotions of anger emotions of greed emotions of lust because these emotions tend to put you into actions that do nothing but add to the layer of illusory objects and illusory subjects in your life until and unless you are ready to remove these layers of illusionments you are not really ready to take on your spiritual journey until then you could be satisfied with whatever you're doing but at the same time you might be missing out on things on higher things that you could have been achieving all this time. Now, is it right to leave everything behind and look for this higher calling? Not completely. That's why you need to balance your life. You need to balance your spiritual inquisitiveness and material responsibilities and that's what we try to do here we're trying to build a community of enlightened new age human beings who although are buried in their worldly activities find the space and time to look into themselves to look for something beyond this muggle world. 
if you like whatever is happening here press the like button and if you like whatever is happening in sound health solution do not forget to subscribe and share it with your friends who you think might enjoy this content until next time